So Andy, Pittsburgh is all about innovation. Who are some of the major innovators over the last 250 years? Right here at the beginning of the innovation exhibit at the History Center, we have a little video that in three minutes shows more than 60 innovators, from Roebling's wire rope and the creation of suspension bridges to air brakes that made railroad transportation possible. There are so many, including the energy industry with Drake's Well and the oil industry. Heinz Ketchup. Uh, Heinz Ketchup. Who knew that the first professional football player was from Pittsburgh? Pudge Heffelfinger. The Ferris wheel. Yeah. Andrew Carnegie vertically integrates steel mills and really changes that industry. UPMC. UPMC is part of the story from the very beginning, but so is the first transcontinental flight in American history. The first banana split came from Pittsburgh. Who knew? I love that. That's the best thing. The first movie theater started here. Uh, Forbes Field became the first all steel and concrete stadium in America. The Pennsylvania Turnpike, you know those rumble strips? They started right here. Yep. The first commercial radio station in history. The first bingo game was from here. The first university skyscraper was from Pittsburgh. The, the Zippo lighter. Who knew? Sure. Who knew? Uh, there are just so many innovations in industry and science and uh, technology and medicine. It's a remarkable story, a tradition of innovation. Andy, Pittsburgh really came into its own during the Civil War, is that right? That's right, Leslie. Pittsburgh became the arsenal of the Union, casting the largest cannons in the history of the world. Some of them were 20 inches in diameter, 20 inch caliber. That's bigger than the biggest warships we have today. And they were muzzle loaders. They had to be loaded from the front and could propel a 1,080 pound ball nearly four and a half miles. Pittsburgh kept going. Uh, even through adversity, we see uh, new industries rise up. The oil industry starts in western Pennsylvania. In 1869, Heinz packages his first pickles, and in that same year, Westinghouse develops the air brake. 1893, the Ferris wheel. It's a Pittsburgh innovation. And standard time and time zones and uh, daylight savings time, they also come from Pittsburgh. But the archetypal Pittsburgh innovator is George Westinghouse. How do you manage so many businesses at the same time? You know, he had 397 patents to his individual credit. Now, Andrew Carnegie was a giant of industry. He wasn't very tall. No, he wasn't <laughs> tall, but I'll tell you who was. Electro, Westinghouse's robot, seven feet, one inches tall. He could walk, talk, and even recognize colors. Now, he's a giant in the industry. So 1938, we're almost to World War II? That's right. And Pittsburgh becomes the arsenal of democracy during the Second World War. In 1940, the War Department sends out an RFP to 134 car makers in America asking for a miracle car that will replace the horse. And only the American Bantam Car Company in Butler, Pennsylvania can fill the bill. Who doesn't love a Jeep? In 1943, Westinghouse artist J. Howard Miller does a poster for Rosie the Riveter. The Riveter. And she really becomes an iconic image, uh, symbolizing all of those women who entered the workforce during World War II. And even to this day, wherever you go around the world, people know who Rosie the Riveter is. So we haven't even touched upon this guy, Mr. Rogers, robotics, the really cool sports museum. We will definitely be back. You've got to come here. So how about some directions? Well, the History Center is located right next door to the David L. Lawrence Convention Center right here in the Strip District. The Senator Hines History Center is definitely a must-see. Andy, thank you so much. What an interesting tour. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. We'll see you soon. We'll see you soon on the next edition of Discover Pittsburgh Country.